And here you go. Marines need to get in quick because it's about to open up. There it goes. Half of the fob already leveled. And Marines are just being flattened. Hey guys, Moidog here, and today we've got another episode of Eye in the Sky where we take a look at a game of squad from the top down. And this one, we've got the USMC up against the Chinese People's Liberation Army on Kohat. This is Kohat Invasion V4. And I think like four or five months ago, we had this layer on Eye in the Sky and it was kind of a rout. The USMC managed to hold extremely well and we didn't really get to see the map breathe. You know, invasion games are awesome if we can see both teams kind of respond to contact, flank around, try to do some sneaky stuff and especially call in some command assets. And that is exactly what we got on this one. I'm not going to spoil it, but I will say it was shocking amazing surprising i loved it one of the best games i've seen recently so i hope you guys enjoy if you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe for more and drop me a comment below with a map game mode or fashion you'd like to see in the next one and don't forget to check out the live streams over at twitch.tv slash moidog or here on youtube where i stream throughout the week but that's it for me enjoy the video peace all right eye in the sky kohat and we've got kohat invasion v4 this is going to be an amazing uh, Thanksgiving version of Eye in the Sky. Yes, uh, a lot of y'all, for whatever reason, think I'm Canadian. No, I'm, I'm American. We, we celebrate Thanksgiving in November uh, like you're supposed to. <laughs> so uh, if, you're, if you're an American, happy Thanksgiving. If you're not, happy Thursday. And uh, let's get in with some Eye in the Sky. It's been a hot minute. I'm not going to lie. I've been really into some of the, uh, the foxhole uh, stuff going on with the naval warfare. But I did not forget about you guys. And we're going to have an awesome round of Eye in the Sky. So we are on board uh, with the PLA. Uh, Coat Invasion V4 has a PLA up on the northeast side of the map. Uh, they have the main over here. And the USMC is down at the southwest uh, side. It is a one, two, three, four cap uh, invasion layer. Uh, starting off with Bob Connolly, then Joe Zara proper, Malaka Bod. And then Sarazai Lawyer, uh, Lawyer, Lawyer, Lower, Sarazai, Sarazai, Sarazai Lower, words are hard. Um, the PLA have a bunch of uh, Lodges, the armor, or not armored, armed transports, uh, the CSK armored cars, uh, the ZBL 08s, uh, ZBDs, and uh, a ZTZ with a no respawn. Um, yeah, that's... Uh, you, you got one shot with that helicopter in a couple minutes. USMC gets a helicopter, a couple uh, labs, and then Matt vetoes uh, some Humvees and uh, light transports as well. Should be a good game. I heard in command comms uh, earlier as we were getting ready for this, uh, at least command wants to all be on the same page. And uh, well, I don't know. A at least if you have people talking uh, and want to coordinate, I I hey, they can still lose, but maybe they're going to lose together. And that's what we want, right? <laughs> so we are off. Uh, I am not seeing. Wow. I actually do not see that many. USMC are punting the first point. Unbelievable. So we actually had, uh, there was an eye in the sky for this one as we have a couple ZBLs um, <laughs> nearly fall off the cliffside here. We actually had a couple months ago was it three four months ago now man dude 2023 has absolutely flown by right we're almost in freaking december it's crazy um we had been on uh this exact layer uh, a while ago and surprisingly uh the usmc spoiler alert i if you don't want to hear what happens don't listen to the next second oh the zbl falls over and missed it earlier, but not going to miss that one. One ZBL down, but as you can see, there is absolutely nobody uh, for the USMC even near Fob Connolly. Uh, maybe they'll get there soon, but we'll have to see. Uh, but the Chinese were really close to taking the first point. USMC just managed to hold on barely. I'm not quite sure what he's firing at. Maybe just want to warm his gun up. No need to make sure it worked and all that good stuff. As the ZBL <laughs> goes flying in the background. Yep. Uh, 
So whatever type of eye in the sky we had last time on this layer, we are obviously not getting that at all. Uh, Chinese moving forward unopposed to Fob Connolly. Uh, squad five and six, turn off some outline or turn on some outlines rather uh, for you guys and name tags so you can see. Uh, turn on the nice little capture area and ain't nobody defending it. This is going to be a freebie and this might be a very interesting eye in the sky. A uh, conventional forces usually, hold on a second, because we have a full Lodgy that might be finding himself on the wrong end of a Humvee. So Chinese Lodgy, you might see this Humvee now coming around the Are corner. You set up a hab here? When are you going to do that? American Humvee. Right off the left, yeah, bearing do down, and should see this Chinese Lodgy. Right, 50 cal is going to want to open up soon. Stops the car, and there it goes. MG opens up. Infantry just spilling out the backside. There, no chance for that 50 cal. Marines tearing into the Chinese. Oh, a couple infantry actually able to survive and dismount. Lodgy is still up. Infantry firing on him. The Chinese trying to find some cover behind it. That is not going to work. 50 cal and they are done so. Fantastic opening ambush from the Marines and one entire Chinese squad erased from Kohat. Oh, and hold on a second. Right as I say that, you actually have one in the bush. And he manages to tag one of the Marines, but it's not going to be enough. Lodgy goes down and even if they're able to stay... Watch out, uh, stay alive themselves, and <laughs> they're not. There goes the 50 to mop it up. And hold on a second. Now you have the CSK. They're coming in for some armored car support. Want a little action for themselves. And I'm actually... Oh, driver spills out, or someone spills out. And they're both shooting at nothing. Still have eyes on. Didn't even move. Nah, there's a bush. Yeah, there is definitely a bush, and you can't see... CSK going to push up a bit, and the Humvee might get a two-piece. Tears into the car, and I think it kills the driver there. Oh, no, the reload. That is the worst moment. Doesn't realize he still needed to uh, reload. They peek and only is able to fire off one or two rounds before that heavy machine gun needs a reload. This is catastrophic for the Chinese right now. Humvee going to come in and mop it up. And there you go, trying to get shots on that gunner, but with the new suppression, oh, there you go. Are they just giving AT, oh, that's a... <laughs> that's even the open door Humvee and still not able to get a single kill on the actual Humvee crew. One Marine we see off to our, our left here, uh, Steffers, um, did get killed as he tried to push it, but Oprah wins... <laughs> Oprah wins spree. Uh, lives up to the name, and they have Spot now two, won two uh, engagements. Load up on the LAV to the 182 tickets to 799. Not a bad call out. This Western push is completely stopped by one fantastic uh, Oprah Winsbury. Uh, you get a respawn. You get a respawn. <laughs> Okay, all right, we're moving on. Uh, but Fob Connolly themselves, as the CSK pops behind us as the Humvee map, uh, mops it up, uh, the Fob Connolly themselves, as you heard on the command comms, was a freebie. Should be uh, 276 tickets here soon. Uh, right before that ambush, we're saying conventional forces are usually very, very difficult uh, to attack against. Um, typically invasion, you know, you have your, uh, conventional forces like your U S like your Russia, like your Chinese up against irregular militia or insurgents. Um, you know, this, uh, factions, which aren't necessarily completely underpowered, but just very, it's not, it's not, it's not a fair fight. A lot of the times, uh, giving, uh, a conventional faction like the Chinese a free 100 tickets. Uh, is not how you want to start invasion rounds, especially now you just have Jazara proper, Malakabad, and Sarazai lower. You only have three points after this. Uh, I would be a little nervous. Uh, there still is not even a single hab built on Jazara proper. 
And I don't, I don't know. Hey, place your bets now, okay? I thought four was getting in our LAV. We have a couple squads wiped, but no defense on now two points. Something has cr crazy has got to happen in order for uh, the USMC to defend against this. I think this is just going to be too many tickets. Uh, but hey, you never know. BBC Hesh might uh, pull off another ambush of his own as the CSK comes flying around the corner, headed towards that main bridge. And not sure if he's going to go the bridge. He doesn't. Takes the right turn. Oh, goes off-road, but he might just peek. Yep, there it is. Humvee opens up. That was a perfect shot. A couple rounds hitting the armored car, but they keep on driving, and that's more... That's a bad decision, actually. That's giving the Humvee a little bit more of an angle to shoot, and oh, the driver could have picked any <laughs> direction to go. And that was the wrong one, right up the face of a hill, and now they're just getting absolutely beamed. You can see... Huh? CSK finally getting shots on. I think we're dead. Uh, infantry dismount. The gunner dismounts. Driver is still alive. Wow. Nobody trusting in the driver. The driver leaving all of his buddies in the dust. I'm a very enthusiastic You can see only Monkey Man was the one who went down atrocity and a couple of his buddies still alive uh cat lord flaming cat lord cat lord flaming cat okay all right cat lord flaming cat and no comms on what has just happened uh the zbl though so you would think this humvee has no chance against the zbl zbl does not have that strong of armor that 50 cal uh, from the Humvee above can absolutely shred yes, through it. Ideal. Humvee, if they have a full box of ammo loaded, this could be a bad spot to stop for the ZBL. And a dream ambush for the Humvee. It looks like he's trying to aim. All right, let's, let's oh, he's not here. looking. Go on the hill. I'm surprised he hasn't even heard the... Oh, it was a full infantry dismount as well. 50 cal opens up and that's going to... Aggro the ZBL trying to figure out where exactly it is and there you go and oh my goodness What a kill That that's multiple squo oh! <laughs> All right, that's rude That's what you get for helping out your team a nice little shove in the back and a, a flip over <laughs> uh, But no worries uh, Chinese uh, setting up a nice attack bomb for Jazara proper. Uh, hop down. Radio's down. Um, and as you can see, however, uh oh, ATGM comes in, and that actually hits the flipped ZBL. It's it's somehow missed the ZTZ. As you see, there is at a track, way off in the distance. Two four six. Two four six. Oh, and he gets the shot off. Now you can see the Tomat V is on fire and it's running off on the other side of the hill. ATGM gets at least one shot, I think, into that ZBL. Um, or if something weird happened. Oh, wow. I'm not even seeing it, to be honest. Hold on. It must have... Imp wow. You got to feel hard done by... Is it... Are there... Losing tires, maybe? This, oh, that ATGM took out the two middle tires for the ZBL. Absolutely no hull damage. And the ZBL is going to be able to just carry on. Get those uh, brand spanking new tires and you're good to go. Really unlucky uh, for A-Track and that ATGM. Toe just barely missing the sweet uh, spot there. Wanna, can you guys get a rep station, station on this fob? Yeah, yeah, I was about to do that. Trying to set up for you guys. Now we have infantry about to get into it. Chinese the first to open up. One Marine spilling down the hillside. And they send it right back to him. Going to get some really 
close quarters fighting on these hills. Coat usually very long range, but now they're within 15, 20 meters. Marine advance kind of stopped here. Oh, this is actually really good for the Marines. You got on the left side and the, the right side, kind of a, a nice little uh, flank and surrounding of this Chinese unit, but now a few more J Jizzy Johnson, really? I don't... Okay. Yeah, on Thanksgiving, it's a holiday, sir. It's a holiday. <laughs> Do you eat your mom, mom's, like, turkey and stuffing with that mouth? Come on. All right, I get UAV up in three oh, and, and a half hold minutes, on a second. I get a rocket train Fortnite like freak. And a half minutes, so but that's, we're, we're not worried about the infantry in Fortnite freak. Big Papa, Ricky Bobby, McBeat, McBeat Meat. Oh, my. Okay. All right. It's all about the, the Humvee. And hold on a second. You have one Chinese infantry off the backside. He might get a fantastic ambush here. One stop. Yeah, he's going to be lining up that shot on the gunner. Is he going to pull the trigger? He waits. Nope, doesn't. How did... Uh-oh. I don't even know who killed who there. It almost looked like a team kill, but... Matt V is, or no, Hum V rather, is just, oh my goodness, he is pushing an entire infantry squad, the Joker Mafia, well, mulch, m m <laughs> all right, y'all's names, all right, y'all's names are ridiculous right now, Hum V is just going right through infantry and then <laughs> he finally gets shot off as he just runs into and runs over <laughs> the rest of the infantry, <laughs> absolutely ridiculous try it try it <laughs> oh there it goes infantry oh hold on atgm while they're distracted comes in and mops up the uh, the transport and finally nismo goes down and all of this to say um hey guess what guys uh, maybe the Marines should defend the point. <laughs> maybe Marines should defend the point. A lot of action. And Super hold on a second. Super Bob. I think they're Super Bobby CSK opens up uh, and nails the like UH-1's engine. And, oh, it finally yeah, pops. Right here is this is just... I have no idea what is happening with the Marines right now. Gotcha. I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna save it until we're actually pushing the point, but yeah. 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 We're, we're capping three caps right now on point. Yeah, no, I'm just I'm waiting uh, to see once we start pushing the super fob, that's when I'll drop them. Say, once we start pushing the super fob, they're under the impression that we got a pretty big build up at Malacca Bod because this is two caps for free and then it's 200 tickets for free. Can we get a pickup on point once we cap? That, that's gonna be 348 tickets to 763. You can see right now, uh, the, the Chinese started with 200 tickets. They got 100 more tickets. They're about to get 100, 100 more on the top of that. The USMC started with seven. Uh, started with 800. Both sides right now, we, we've had some good action, good ambushes and and yeah, firefights already, fire but the USMC in... If we really want to be super critical, they're not even pretending to defend at the moment. Uh, a couple squads trying to get some ambushes. Let's try to figure out where this uh, ZTZ looks like he might have been tracked by Arctic Picks. And yep, tracks are off. Arctic Picks staring down the barrel of the ZTZ. Not sure if he has another shot. Can we get uh, construction running up to the farm? Halfway done. Piece of paper hey, yeah, pulling out the rep no, kit. While well, Arctic Picks goes around and he's trying to, to trying to running. kill the crewman repairing. Oh, he actually has another AT4. Lining up his shot. Into the side of the ZTZ. ZTZ doesn't even move. Doesn't care. And oh, that's actually really unfortunate. If he had just waited uh, 10 seconds later he would have been able to track him again 
And ZTZ, you can see he has yeah, about 80% health. Took a little bit of damage, but nothing too crazy. Squad 10 uh, for the USMC just up here. Uh, Jinto, Heck, and Arctic Picks are trying to just keep eyes on it. But it's uh, not too effective here. Just 184. You really need to get your ATGM vehicles back in the game. Trying to take a look on the map. You have Squad 3 uh, Sizing out here. I believe they have a second one. Uh, unless he got lost somewhere. But as another point falls we get a pick up on, uh, with pretty much on my move mark here. no defenses, uh, the Chinese are now bringing out their helicopter, the Z8G, enormous helicopter. And the one thing that this helicopter is good at is transporting troops. Can't It doesn't have a, a door gun, doesn't have a rear gun, can fit almost half your team here as infantry... For the Marines try to open up, and man, he is just slow turning in the middle of the map, too. And you got that ATGM from Sizen, Squad 3 USMC on the hills way out west. And this is a huge, slow-moving target. I'm going to be very careful. Kohat is just an ATGM lover's paradise. Not quite sure what he's doing at the moment. Just inviting that ATGM, to be honest. On the, on the and now you have a little heavy machine guns, maybe a Matt V opening him up. Taking a couple of shots, and he tries to bank right, get out of there, and he looks like he's going to be okay. But this is, there you go, squad three. So we're way out west. We're over here. Um, honestly, that's... Squad five, uh, can you pick us up? I would have at least taken a shot. <laughs> uh, I would have I would have seen what happened. Uh, squad four. I would, I would have seen what happened, you know? Yeah, sure. Um, right, Jazara proper is now captured. 328 tickets for the Chinese. Uh, 736 for the Marines. And, well, not much of a defensive fight. Helicopter coming in. Trying to pick up troops and move over to the next point. I mean, we're already uh, halfway there is a four-cap invasion lair. Two caps without as much as a, a real firefight to defend hard, it. But if we can get a uh, bob north of Malakabad, I think that would be a really good spot to attack from. Cool. AT4 by the gaming yeah, ant Malakabad. goes down. Uh, or at least I was going to say AT4 misses, but the helicopter there. goes down. By oh, coming as well. Yeah, there's a lot of bunkers and a lot of shit. I found the hab though. It's really I crazy. don't even know what hit him to be honest. You just got one tapped. I don't think squad three, I didn't hear any whir of a toe. Hab on the bots marked. And squad three, we can't even see him from there. I honestly have no idea. What might have hit him? It almost seemed like he got hit by an ATGM. Uh, no team kill. That is actually very... I don't know. Get some, like, X-Files music here. I have no idea how that thing just died. I wish I could enlighten y'all, but uh, the many mysteries of Kohat. Uh, both helicopters now down, and that, this is the problem because you have Malakabad center of the map, uh, and now you actually have Marines fighting over the objective. Uh, even though it was capped by the Chinese. So this is going to bog them down a little bit. Infantry going to get stuck up in, the, in these hills. These firefights are just going to get drawn out, and you're going to start losing and bleeding tickets over an objective that really doesn't matter at this point. BC Hesh bandaging up. Kermit Bungle bandaging as well. You can see, I mean, it is just chaotic here. You got infantry... Grenade thrown by the PLA. Oh, but BBC Hesh is a medic. Swaps to the pistol, uh, Kermy. You can see there's Marine Corps infantry mixed with PLA infantry. Hesh decides to push now that he, see, he hears him firing. That might be good. Goes for the burst fire. Nails him, but uh, Teletubby 
in the background. Knocks him out, and these mortars are bang on. Enemy helo is landing at Malacca Butter. The call for fire just mops up the rest of the infantry. And Peterson now one of the few left. I want to figure yeah, out exactly. Set up in the direct surrounding area see where that those mortars really were. One complex. I, I want to say that they out. were uh they were marine. So when you guys are ready, I'll drop it. Yes, we have some some mortar tubes here. So uh marine mortars Copy. knock out. Oh, they actually killed themselves. Oh, they did. Oh no, Shove kills cardboard box Jimmy Poo Poo and Nice. All with that mortar. Oh, what would have been an amazing mortar strike ends up being a catastrophe as the Marines lose the hill because of it. Everything that can be going wrong has been going wrong. This complex that I'm about to mark with a uh, fob creation circle that's uh, completely empty. They're not watching it. So we could probably get a, try and sneak a fob. Arctic picks, over, keeping uh, monkey man track. buttoned up down here. And as we see, he has a battle buddy now pushing... You want to keep him suppressed, uh, Monkey Man. And then Gaming Ant now pushing. And see if they can mop it up properly. Do they, do they lose track of Monkey Man? Monkey Man is hiding. They don't know where he went. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Arctic Picks and Gaming Ant shoot each other. Now they're going in. And this might... <laughs> Monkey uh, Man might have his so, moment. Uh, you just need to be brave. They're behind us and they're digging down our radio. Or they're going to try and dig down our radio. Monkey Man. Yeah. Uh, trying to wait for his ground. moment. Continue. Backing up yeah, even spot. further into this spot. corner. Monkey Man, you can do this. You can do this. Arctic Picks going around the backside. Gaming Man yeah, around the backside. Tell Bond to start digging on the radio like now. Yeah, sure, I, I, I wasn't sure how hot that was going to be. Oh, is he... Yeah, there's like five of them on the half. They're Come on! Wouldn't you copy that? There are tanks and things happening. Helicopter. Uh oh, helicopter. It's not even fair. Dead. Look, we've got vehicles on the left hillside, vehicles in the valley. And this looks like an ammo rack, Man, and it is line, ZBD. Right? No, 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 no. That yeah, is, I'm yeah, that is the ZBD. Tiny Rick and, and Ly Topez. It's ammo racked on the hill. One yeah, IFB five, destroyed. Right one, tell your guy they're heading his way. And that ZBD goes down, and that might have been. Yep, it looks like squad. This is the Matt V from earlier. Managed to at least get one good shot on the, the Chinese vehicles before getting killed himself. In the meantime, other squads just focus on getting up apps. So, a little bit chaotic. Uh, ZBD goes down out of all the vehicles that could go down there. I mean, you'd, you'd prefer a ZBL would be lost and not that ZBD. ZBD is more or less like the BMP uh, equivalent. Boys over here in a Hummer, but uh, he decided to one v one another Hummer. So, it that's, is what it is. Yeah, that's, that's pretty typical. Came from Poly. AT4 looks like Miss McBeat. Yep. Or average uh, infantry out there. Actually, that was a fantastic tracking shot that we saw uh, from yeah, way downtown. ZTZ now stuck in a, in a very, uh, a very bad spot right in the middle of this open road, but I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think it's gonna matter too much. We have a lot of vehicles to support. Um, Marines are still uh, pretty far away to actually, I think, destroy this. For whatever reason, the Marines are not building ATGMs. Uh, Kohat is one of these maps. We're gonna remove this so you guys can see a bit clearly. Uh, Kohat is one of those maps. You want a lot of ATGMs. We also need to try to get them closer than 400 meters off the point. Oh yeah, my right. goodness, CTZ. We have Hallie. We should, we should be able to. Uh, Sends around. Oh, that's right into the hab on radio. Multiple infantry down, and you can see squad four and infantry right below Malakabad. This is the south side, and it is right about. It's going to be a little hot. But, uh, where are we here? If you can pull it off. I there it is. So, Chinese infantry getting ready to uh, set up. Maybe they want to get an attack bob here. They don't have a Lodgy nearby, so it's going to be very difficult with that helicopter also down. Squad 1, uh-oh. Six GMC. 
save that radio. Russian grizzly and biggest dickest <laughs> somehow just ran through mines. They they just completely missed multiple mines in the middle of the road. Really, really lucky there. But oh, here it is. Okay. Um, yeah, that's gonna be Artie fodder. Look at this. Just be uh, ready because I'm going to uh, drop Artie on the point. If someone can get yeah, me a command mark. Spawn on the north tab, not the south, boys. I mean, this is tab. a lot. Actually, one, if you can get me the command mark on uh, Malakabad, that'd be huge. This is a lot, and I think it's going to cause all of my frames to die. We're about to spawn on squad four, The so moment artillery hits up. this. Hey, I've got a heli pilot that just took the heli up. Where do we need supplies from it? And they have, look at this little outpost. I love this. Look at that. Uh, one of these halves, but I'm not sure where they're. Oh it's my not gosh. It's enthusiastic one. It's one they can actually land. The one down south is more better. It's clear. The one down south what is, is more better. Can you get me a command mark on uh, point? I mean, this is. I mean, if one has a mic. You gotta love this stuff. I don't know if it's gonna work. But it, it kind of looks right badass. No. You know? I mean, it uh, looks it looks fun. A, uh, you know, part of the reason uh, you you play this game is uh, is to uh, uh, to have fun. So, like I said, I, I don't I don't know if uh, this is gonna. Whoa! <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna work out very well. Oh, never mind. I can literally get. I also think you should have defended the other points really. while also having fun with this, but. Well, here you go. Right. Infantry are already closing in. All right, I'm gonna call in a, uh, oh stack no! On it. Oh, speaking of, his name is actually. Oh no! Helicopter going way right, too right, slow right, near right, the active right, point. Right, well, right, Starts right, taking right, some right, incoming fire. Right, 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 I'm not quite sure if they're trying to get a hab up or what. AT4s. Whizzing by, infantry taking shots at the heli. Yeah, we definitely need to get this super fun. Oh no, just try to wiggle and weave his way out of the trouble. Both teams, their helicopters have been very, uh, making some interesting decisions, I guess, to say the least. Trying to see if they call in, so what, what, uh, both sides want to do is kind of uh, kill the the push and or defense with a like a very satisfying arty strike. So obviously your attackers you want to not just have a, an arty strike, but you want to have an arty strike where your your infantry can mop it up. So you you'd hit this with arty, then you have a bunch of blue right in front hey, of us and walk into the point, uh, right? Or uh, for the you USMC right now, you want to do the same thing, knock out their main attack fob, and then push out from this fob. So that way, they are now reset. You use your artillery, you clear out, clear out the fortifications, you clear out the spawn, and then infantry destroys the radio. And then you, you buy yourself another 10 or 15 minutes, try to wait for another command asset, and hopefully drain those tickets. Infantry in every little hidey hole you can be here. I think so. This is. Yeah, the ZBD right next to me. There's another one right next to me. This is absolutely insane, actually. Not a ZBD. It's like they they designed it so I, I want to say almost full three, 360 degrees uh, security here, but they don't have this this one angle is not covered, and uh, the Chinese have figured that out. Oh, Shack, Dust, Bang, Bang, and Mulch. They're pushing in. That hab should be almost overrun. Mulch goes down. Dust the only one up, so you can't overrun with just one, one player. Chinese need to get a little bit closer, and now mortars are starting to rain down. And then is uh, Chinese mortars. It looks like they're trying to hit the attacking squads. Yep, on this other side. Mortars are cleaning up the attack from the northeast. So these are USMC mortars landing on that attacking Chinese squad while the super fob is just doing its job. And hold on a second. We get to get a, an actual helicopter run here. Oh, what's up? Can I come there? I'm not checking it out. It's pretty, 
Helicopter going a little too deep. I wouldn't be surprised if this helicopter goes down here in the next, you know, 30 seconds. There's just way too much Chinese armor, but they don't care. They're going for air support, actually, opening up with the MG, trying to hit infantry. These are his targets. You don't have too many if they see that Lodgy off to the right. That is a fantastic target, though. Much better than a couple infantry out in the hills. I'm going to do a very confined static rush to try and get as many shells as possible. And that's this possible. helicopter is just being very ballsy here. They might have spotted this helicopter. Or not helicopter, this Lodgy, but no. They're going for the... The Hab Camp. There you go. Infantry all just laying down prone, trying to toss smoke. JDF Creeper Alonzo just pinning the infantry down. And now you have friendly infantry pushing. E actually getting his body up on to the hab itself as mortars also come in. This is incredible. You got helicopter support, infantry support, mortars as well. I mean, E does go down, but talk about combined arms. Your, this hab actually might go down soon. Helicopter is going to wave off a little bit. Unbelievable. What I thought was going to be just multiple helicopters wasted. This one is actually doing some work. Come back in for another pass. Orders all oh, lands right on Teletubby. And just a couple more rounds of mortars. That Hab's going to lose uh, its roof there. And it's going to be unspawnable. Oh, a little. Oh, I don't know what's happening here. Trying to go in to pick someone up or drop someone off, I think. Maybe even, maybe even build a fob. More of like a defense bob here. The Marines, I mean, they are... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Wasted too much time. And just as the helicopter goes down to AT, Marines are about to take a whole bunch of arty fire. Artillery has been called in on the point by the Chinese commander. And it's about to... Hey, if the video all of a sudden ends right here, it's because this caught my computer on fire, okay? The amount of fortifications and emplacements all jammed up in this small area with all of the explosions that are about to happen. Hey, fingers crossed. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. First round, direct hit. Knocks out an entire side, and the Marines are now scrambling second ranging shot. As someone hits a mine right off screen. And here you go, Marines need to get in quick because it's about to open up. There it goes, half of the fob already leveled. And Marines are just being flattened. The big question is, is there going to be enough infantry nearby to dig it up? You have one Marine trying to run out of the artillery barrage. He's going to get out in time. It doesn't look promising. And no, I suck. Yeah. All right, start pushing in now. Start pushing in now. Infantry are going to be running in. You got the ZBL. Ah, oh, Royce and Roman off to our front left. But it doesn't matter. Infantry are all over the fob already. Might have lost a bunch of emplacements and fortification. Doesn't matter. Meaty claws up. Lunch, fetus lunch? Really? Uh, Foe hammer. Everybody pushing back in. And now ZBL is going to try to do a little bit of smokescreen. But it's not going to work. Engined. 
and he is heavy smoking. It's up to Finrique. You can see that blue outline in the middle of the smoke there, trying to push that hab. Finrique, if you get one more infantry close, you can start to, uh, to squad, overrun can this hab. But the Marines are like, they're like the Amish, just rebuilding as quickly yeah, as it went down. AT by E knocks yeah, out. Oh, let's just say it's not going to knock it out just yet, but it is pretty dang close. Royce and Roman are on fire. Roman in the back trying to get that fire out. And now you have this Joker, O'Shack, and Midnight flank. Fire is out on the ZBL. Good push. We'll turn out the name so you can just see the outlines and see how they start yeah, to I'm push in. DBL is still alive, and now you're going to have the Hab is overrun. Yes, it is. Infantry who are here are going to be the last ones unless they can clear the Marines, and it doesn't look like it. A couple Marines go down, and now the Chinese are starting to breach. Very close quarters. You want to get a grenade over there if you're the well, either party, to be honest. Chinese going for a grenade. He throws. Oh, he tries to bake it. Oh, frag out. They missed it. Oh, and another one! Marines clear out a huge corner! Oh, they just started spamming nades too. Owen oh, almost pulled off the peak shot. Devaluated pump, cardboard box. They are trying to hold the ground. Araz, Midnight, and the Joker Mafia, the last ones up here. This hab is still overrun. Yes, it is. There's just too much infantry nearby. Marines need to keep pushing out and clearing. Joker Mafia going with the underhand grenade. That might be a perfect one. And it is. Knocks out three. Pump devalued and Yugo go down. Space Goblins trying to figure out what's going on. But another grenade. Space takes a little bit of shrapnel in his corner. Gallop tosses another grenade. This is why you want to have riflemen. Space going out and he gets just full auto blasted. Galahop now breaching in. Parallax right behind him. I'm inside. Alright, we're pushing in on their point here. We're starting the cap. Dindo Hex takes a face full of lead. We just gotta clear out. And now you've got the reinforcements trying to see if there's any type of airstrike or something being called in. China is not calling in any command asset yet. Jinto Hex gets flanked. Didn't realize Kacha Kasasai was going to be on the right side. He was looking left. They cannot spawn. Let's, there's maybe one, two more. Exactly. They cannot spawn. Maybe one or two more. And there's a few more than that, but that's the right idea. You want to slowly push up. Keep the numbers. Good little bunny hop grenade that might get faux hammer and poo poo. And it does. Well, I can't believe I even said, th said those words. <laughs> poo poo goes down. <laughs> Fill the blank. Oh, man. And catch a sigh. Amazing push in the gaming ant and green TK up with mini claws. The last one's here. And if you want to hold this, if you're the Chinese, you need an airstrike right now. You need an, a, a artillery barrage. You need something. It's not over for the, the last men standing on the objective here, but it's getting pretty dang close. Green DK trying to hide in that, uh, that indirect fire bunker. Trying to see if any but, infantry uh, nearby who can spawn in. You can yeah, see behind us. Up, uh, oh, now you got Critter maybe trying to uh, hit some mortars in. But you have a, a couple infantry trying to stream into the point for the Chinese. If they get mortars right, pretty much where Space right Goblins is, Midnight, this little bundle of blue on the objective. Well... Chinese a, might not be able to capture it. Meaty Claws pushes in. He goes down. Mortar's just a little long, actually. Need to tighten that up a little bit. And it is just green TK left. But hold on, Critter. Now jumping off the mortars, and that might be a, the wrong decision. Uh, there's a whole boatload of ammo left. Green TK goes to push out, knocks out a couple. It's just midnight left. Galahop and Joker Mafia on the other side. It is, uh, this is very close. Green TK. Green TK is holding out. Mortar still just a little short. 
but he does knock out Nomad, nearly ki uh, kills Captain McDickens. And no way, Green TK mops him up. They're dropping mortars on point. There are just three left for the Chinese, two left for the Chinese, Galahop and, well, Joker might have picked someone up. Midnight is is on top of the set of bodies and he kills him, have his spotting. Oh my goodness, what a clear, Green TK, Nice land. And the mortars, what a hold. We got about 10 seconds until the entire Marine team is gonna spawn in and Green TK might have just made the play of the game here, holding out in the indirect fire bunker. And we have to see if we get that big red wave and there it is, Shiko meeting. Oh no, just a couple spawn in. Yeah, they, they wiped us out with mortars. On. Where's everybody else? They're trying to cap back and they are, it's just enough. And so you have enough infantry now spawning on the objective. What an absolutely insane hold because you also have this fire support base off to the west and it's actually preventing anyone else to push in. The fire support is cutting them off at the road. You see Smesh, Smeshed is about to get blasted. Smeshed, maybe Smeshed? I don't, I don't know what type of verb Smeshed is, but it looks like he's about to get smushed. This is, is, a, is a very good off the point fob. And that's why it's not always bad to have a point, right, a fob on the point, half, but having a second fob cutting off uh, angles of attack is huge here. And now we this Marine squad is just pinned on the other side of the road, pinned by uh, heavy machine gun fire down. mortars. And now you have a fully nearly repaired super fob supported by an entire two or three squads that are now going to start spawning in what an insane turn of events 133 tickets to 571 no way the grind is working for the marines i have a creeping garage again in five minutes if we can somehow get and a kaz going. is going for glory he's going to try to push in he turns around sets and oh no Unable to just get it. Now these look like defensive smokes. I want to call it out correctly. Might have been. I see no. Uh, hey, uh, come on. That's, uh, I actually don't see any like area where that could happen. All right, we're gonna let this settle and simmer for a second because we have a potentially game-changing ATGM shot. Knocks out and Royce and Roman, actually. ATGM hits the ZBL. Uh, oh no, Tommy kill. Unbelievable, just the, these ATGMs are being so ineffective for the Marines. Dirty Medic and a uh, piece of paper still alive in the ZTZ. I think the ZBL, oh, Royce and Roman have survived up until this point, nearly losing the ZBL multiple times and they finally go down. Gotta give him credit for that, but. Another ATGM fires and it hits. I'm not quite sure how that didn't lose the helicopter. It looks like they just tanked an ATGM right there. Very confusing, but I mean, what a game this has turned into. We're going to swap on over to Arctic Picks and the hat kit because he's got the ZBD. Looks like engine. I've got two and a half minutes until I'm sure if Arctic, Arctic has any more ammo. He's flanking around. Tiny Rick out on the hill to keep eyes on Arctic picks. Does he have his tandem launcher ready? And it's on fire! ZBD on fire from the small and it pops! What a shot. And in just a couple minutes from hundreds of tickets, now the Marines are under 100. Unbelievable within, I, I think one or two minutes, it's about 40 or 50 tickets lost. You have the infantry grind of the, the Marines have been pushed out of the uh, tiny compound that they've been using to attack for the past 10 minutes as well. You have you going up over point? This is the, uh, the, PLA UAV and now instead of this nice little attack point they were kind of using it to leapfrog onto the objective you can see the uh, 
the capture area right here. They now have this spawn way out. And it's already being mortared. Taco, you can see nearby. Uh, mouse. And look, a couple other infantry just scattered about. But this fob is now super contested. And we need to take a look to see if there's any other uh, marine... Uh, or rather, any other PLA uh, fob. One attack fob right on this north side here. So... We see Captain McDickens, biggest dickus. <laughs> These two were made for each right, other. Which direction? So what, this is... Which direction is best for you guys? North to south or east to west? Uh, southeast to northeast. Southeast to northeast? Man trying to figure out their attacks right now. So they're calling it southeast. Yeah, southeast to northeast. Um, or wait, south, southeast to northwest? Uh, southeast to northwest attack because you can see squad five and squad four they have just set up an attack fob here uh squad squad one has set up another right, attack uh, fob on the north side they're kind of abandoning the fob ahead, on the so south side like fill in the blank the so commander down here he's about to call I in he actually might be killed by taco here you have enemy infantry inside the command's fob. And looks like, uh, what is happening here? Lit nearly falls out of the sky. These helicopters have been very interesting. As we have another one nearby. And it looks like he's trying to... Well, I'm not sure what he was trying to hit out there, but there is, are no targets, nothing out here. 78 tickets. It's really going to come down to this last attack with this barrage. And here you go. It is a... Uh, I'm not sure if I, I like the call here, especially if you have an attack fob right uh, off to your east. And then you actually have the, the creeping barrage is going to end and... and Splash your northern, uh, northern infantry. I have visual on most of you guys in UAV, so I can see. Uh, thanks. Well, we'll see. I mean, uh, a creeping barrage is better than nothing at this point, but infantry are, are still getting pinned down. And let's take a look from uh, their view on the ground. This artillery is going to be good to get into the point, but really what's right keeping here. them down is this fob up here. OG, Noodle, Devaluated, Big Mac. They're, they're really pinning the infantry down. Another arty strike coming in. Two ranging shots already. We'll have to see what comes of the Super Fob in round two. It is not. These are great strikes on the on the fob, to be honest. But you need to have your infantry to follow in, and we're gonna turn this on so you can see. Look at how many red bodies are in the objective. We don't have nearly enough infantry. Very, very good effort, but they're gonna get cut down by this machine gun. I think it's really up to Cat Lord, Atrocity, and Vic. Oh, hold on a second. Zoidy tosses a grenade. Knocks out Vic, and this might stop it. Zoidy pushes around, needs to get the last man, Cat Lord. He might just back up into him. Cat Lord, oh, they might be able to keep it alive, but I just don't see it happening. The Marines were able to dig in a little too well. Wait a second, Cat Lord, Flaming Cat, and Cat. Oh, I, I thought it was Cat Lord. I thought there were multiple Cat Lords here for a second. Coat's being taken over by cats. This is just tough. This is a tough, tough spot for the PLA infantry. You really need to have mortars helping you out here. Uh, they're hitting their far south, whatever, and uh, just don't even worry about it. Just keep attacking more. 
I mean, this is this is what you have to push into, and it is not fun. Not fun at all. <laughs> it's okay never mind this is actually really fun but if if your gauge of fun is we're about to win it's that's not fun you are just pinned down and you can just see they're getting picked off not only you have to worry about that fob here you still are getting cut off by spy in that heavy machine gun i mean this is just it's just incredible Oh, ZBL now trying to do a whole bunch of smoke screen. Trying to get that smoke over so infantry can push in. And he's just going to ram himself onto the objective. Is he dropping off infantry? No, it's just Royce and Roman off by their own. You go, Jimmy Poo Poo, Arctic Pigs. What are they doing? They're way too close. You have 53 tickets. Royce and Roman, don't do it. We've praised you all game. Well, he just, oh my gosh. He actually takes out four, right? Just like that. Just blasting and hold on. Yep, Arctic picks. Nails the small from close range, and there you go. But that might have gotten enough space for the infantry to push in. Finrique smashed. Just bang is the hab overrun, and it is. Do we get an Uno reverse card again? Smashed and dust bang now the only up. Finrique goes down. Hab is still overrun. Why are you pushing without clearing? Does it work? It does. Smash knocks out a whole bunch. Infantry are still swarming around. And the PLA, now this they've broken through on this northwest side. Catlord, Vic Atrocity are in. Smash is down, but Galahop also in as well. It is about a four on four. We're in round two of Super Fob. Galahop and Arctic Picks trade. 33 tickets, and now you have... Uh, Already artillery strike looked like on that north side. We're about to lose 20 uh, from the south half. Uh oh. They're digging it down. They're digging down the fob on the south side. That means Marines might be able to pull this off if they don't get killed again. Lunchable, the last one up in the forward indirect fire bunker, but you got Shiko and then also uh, Jinto. All spread out throughout the compound. It is now a three on about seven. We'll turn off our names so you can see the outlines. And are they capping? They aren't capping just yet, but it is going to be very, very close. You can see the outlines are trying to pick people up. Uh, the, the Marines, 31 tickets to 498. And let's take a quick look at what they're talking about. This hab is being overrun on the... Backside, yes, it is going to be dug down here shortly. 25 tickets left, minus that radio. That's going to be five tickets. I've seen crazier things happen, but here you go. It is all in on this point. T Tiny Rick goes down. Lunchable knocks him out. And now you got Shiko pushing into the compound as well. Martinson, I think they're now capping. Oh, they're close to capping five tickets. And this is going to be it. Whoever's here is going to win or lose the game. You have so many PLA coming in. They might be able to pull it off. Neesland picks up Fohammer. Air coming in. Here you go. Outlines. See who's moving where. PLA are clearing it. Oh, they trade again. Multiple bodies just stacked up in the entrance. Oh, and there it is. What an incredible game. USMC pull it out. And what a last stand defense twice. 494 tickets to zero. PLA nearly winning multiple times. 209 kills to 212. Uh, 85 <laughs> revives to 57. That was just a hell of a game. Gee, geez.